publishing industries and the whole idea of literature itself in the published form and the whole all the notions of aesthetics are mm -hmm. in fact western they do not proceed from africa they do, do not proceed from an african consciousness they do not proceed from african methods of narration they do not proceed from african um, verbal narrative aesthetics mm -hmm. and so when publishers are looking for ways into the literature what is probably more accessible to them is the notion of a literature proceeding from a continent that has been disadvantaged politically mm -hmm. so again it, it is basically the european framing of discourse and all forms of narrative within that discourse it's probably asking answering the question how can we understand and frame this african narrative and the answer would be oh yes that is the narrative that comes from the disadvantaged continent because right. that is how africa is seen and then because of the relations between africa and europe most europeans do not have any real understanding of the african symbolic world the african narrative world mm -hmm. they may be able to narrate things about it but right. that does not mean that they have their own internal symbolic understanding of it so there is a disconnect mm -hmm. and this is one reason why we see certain kinds of narratives being prioritized um, for example slavery everybody knows about slavery it's been admitted that slavery was not the best thing to happen was wrong shouldn't have happened or and so if you write about slavery you are writing into uh, a, a known discourse and so people can recognize it mm -hmm. what is known about the ordinary lives of africa what is known about the rhythms of africa in those circles that evaluate narrative that has been published very little as i was saying